Hello guys, Ingemar here, the winner of the Hard Way Home. Uh, today we want to talk about the off-road modes and off-road features of the car. To show you that, we have to jump into the car and I'll take you for a little ride. Follow me. Here we go, we are ready now to engage the low range. We bring the transmission into neutral, lift the collar and put it back into low. Indication will be that you have an L in front of you on your enunciator panel. And we are good to go. Engage drive, and here we go. While driving slow, you can put it into lock without stopping. That's a new feature. Here we go. ESC goes off. And you have the indication that the center diff is engaged now. If you need now, for some reason, the diff locks in the rear, not more than 40% of gas, less than 15 kilometers per hour, no spinning wheels, and you can just engage the rear or uh, differential lock by holding the button for one second. There we go. The anti-locking braking system is turned off as well. ESC mode is off, which has been off already before. If not now, the light turns steady. And of course, I get an indication in front of me, which tells me that now the rear differential lock is engaged as well. Of course, we don't need it in this situation just for demonstration purposes. If you need now the front diff, same procedure. You just hold the button for one second without any spinning wheels of course without uh, with less than 40 percent of accelerator pushed and less than 15 kilometers per hour light goes solid steady and i have indication in front of me as well that now the front diff lock is engaged as well whenever you go into an off-road mode this little uh, screen comes up which shows you the status of the diff locks plus the uh, actually slip of the different wheels, which is really, really nice. And of course, you can add whatever feature you want to have on the second half of the screen as well. Here's another nice screen which shows you the different angles as well, uh, the pitch and the roll, which is a nice. Another nice little feature of the car is the hill descent control. Uh, again, or it's the downhill assist. Again, you just engage it by pushing it for one second. There we go. And the light comes on, turns steady. You have a blinking HDC here in green. And you can control the speed with your cruise control. And that nicely controls the speed. No braking, nothing. The car has an off-road mode to engage it you push it for one second it starts blinking then you have 15 seconds to confirm your selection by pushing it again here we go and now the off-road mode is engaged that actually switches off the PDC to avoid any nuisance warning when going close to obstacles of course and it will turn off the ESC and also the warning for the seatbelt. So you can take off your seatbelt, the warning light will still come on, but there is no uh, warning sound, which is a really, really nice feature in my point of view. Another mode is the waiting mode. Same here, you push the button for one second, the button itself starts blinking, you have 15 seconds to confirm your selection. Here we go. It goes steady waiting mode is now engaged in addition to switching off the PDC seat belt it will also turn off the cooling fan of the engine to avoid any damage when you go into deep water plus it will turn off the heated seats if they would be on just another security or yeah security measure so this was a brief introduction into the off-road modes of the Grenadier 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you very much.